Now, one of the key, probably maybe even a key project, this is among the mainline aircraft M with 21. Uh, this is the most popular segment in air transportation. I think let's also listen to our colleagues from OA to United Distance Corporation who will tell us about this project. So MC-21, which is just two aircraft, dear friends, applause joins us. Vasily Prudkovsky, Managing Director of PJSC Yakovlev, the famous Yakovlev company. Hello, Vasily Borisovich, yesterday. Good afternoon. Welcome to our site. Sorry, good afternoon. Yes, yes. By November, two airplane variants will already be available, I believe. Experienced. Yes, no, 6-6, we have a story in which we can't wait, but must catch up. This particular model, the 6, is entirely Russian-made. Yes, the one that 6 is absolutely all Russian. In 21, we made a plane that had a significant number. Imported components are about 60% there, but this was also already a step, respectively, in the direction of our sovereignty there. Uh, technological development and so on, because one aircraft that was made in Russia is truly from scratch. Dry Superjet, uh, which is now also produced by Yakovlev, there was a significantly larger number of foreign components, meaning respectively with 21. At the beginning of 10 years, I took one step towards this, and now both projects are already being done. Let's put it this way. Well, for Russia, to be honest, uh, this is a technological breakthrough that is uh, to make its own aircraft completely from all its components is a very big challenge. Well, in a sense, a breakthrough, yes. How difficult it was to build the entire system? Because, in fact, we say this supply chain, supply chain sounds very mundane, but in fact, behind this is a huge number of companies, firms, people who must be united, a common understanding. That's how the work went. The challenge wasn't small. We had 120 primary suppliers for just one project, with an additional 4,000 secondary suppliers involved, plus material providers. It's just, uh, well, I won't even name the number because I don't know 1,000 there. That is, in general, when I was preparing for our meeting today, I think that if you just estimate the scale, how many engineers, workers, and so on are working to create one aircraft. But this is somewhere in the area, I don't know, 50, 60,000 people, that is. It is a very complex system in which there are certainly a lot of nuances because the technical risk that we have taken is now more than 80%, that is we. We didn't make an airplane, we didn't integrate an airplane with so many, let's say, systems that had not been tested together before in aircraft integration. That is all our Western competitors and partners, as they are now called. Accordingly, usually the share of risk in the development of a new model of aircraft is laid 15 to 20 percent. That is, 80 percent of them are ready. The technology is proven and they are a little bit accordingly and they are here. They are making some improvements there. Now, we are actually almost 80 percent having introduced this novelty having integrated it and managed to do it almost in the same time frame in which, let's say, well, the construction, there is a certain industry norm that is. Globally, building any aircraft model, whether in our country or abroad, takes approximately six, seven years to meet operational deployment timelines for airlines. We managed comparable scheduling. Thank you, Borisovich. Well, when you do something new, it doesn't make sense, as they say, to do what someone already has now, and that's what they say, well, let's do our own new thing for ourselves, but in principle we are, as they say, standing at this stage. Where probably is always the question to lay in the future. Certainly, to a broader scale, the decisions and the discourse hold the foundation for what becomes a future progression. In the previous speech, we discussed, that is, that the new principles of aerodynamics, the laws of physics, we will not discover a new Newton's law, that is. Uh, our iamic layout, our dynamic diagram of the aircraft, 
already during the entire period of development, he has developed a certain standard that shows maximum efficiency from the point of view of well flight. Therefore, new in materials, new in engine design, new in, of course, inside the aircraft. Well, there is something new that we wanted to bring because after all, we are already at that stage of this production chain which comes directly to the passenger, of course, we focus on achieving maximum comfort and roughly speaking for any person who... Now it proceeds onwards through this. As the aircraft moves through the sleeve, the traveler essentially sees no distinction nor perceives it moving beyond origin. It matters not which plane is boarded, akin to whimsical recollections of my grandson traveling with me once. Upon landing, it's already part of the flight. That is, it is important to further develop this into the future. Posit a brief scenario question for ponderance. When boarding a flight, for many it culminates in habitual movements, accustomed yet meaningful flights for personal journeys. Moment, yes, of course. Yes, as if to go into a cafe, yes, yes. Borders left unfelt, introspectively vague to passing passengers' perception yet imagined, if welcoming guidance graced a connection geared towards language enriching flights further amplified. Percent tell something about the plane? More show? Well, first, pulled out onto the airfield from their sleeves. They put the plane? No. First of all, of course, it is convenient and comfortable, secondly, and uh, this, well, in a certain sense was at one time a marketing trick on which the aircraft was promoted. We have very wide aisles and maximum comfort. I see, but it seems to me more. Now, if you tell each passenger that you are flying on, what they will do is done with their hands, head, brains, intelligence. How much did they say? 50,000, yes, approximately. Yeah, about that. That is, so many people touch the wiring of this beauty. It seems to me that there is a feeling of pride here. It arises. 